All right, uh, so now we're going to take a look at Kramer's rule. And uh, what Kramer's rule is, is a way to solve a system of equations. So we have the system of equations ax equals b, and we want to solve that system of equations. And what Kramer's rule is, is a way of doing that using the determinant. And the easiest way to do this is, is going to be just to rewrite the matrix A. So let's say A equals uh, A1. So that's going to be the first column of A. A2, A3, and, and actually instead of A3, let's, let's go dot, dot, dot. A n. Okay, so let's say A has uh, n columns, and um, so this is the matrix A, and Kramer's rule says that x, so let's say, uh, let's just do this, x1 equals the determinant of the matrix uh, made up of uh, B. So you put B where A1 was, and then A2 to AN, and um, divided by the determinant of A. Okay? And so this is uh, X1. Uh, similarly, uh, for x2, and so we can just write it out generally for xi, xi equals uh, the determinant of, and I'll just, I'll just say a1, a2, and let's say uh, B in the ith spot, uh, and then we say B i plus one, right? And this would be, let's say, uh, and the one before would be B i minus one, and then we say all the way to, excuse me, that would be. a i plus 1 all the way to a n. Okay? And so uh, divided by the determinant of a. So uh, in other words, any, any of these, uh, any of the x's can be written as a ratio of the determinant of, of some uh, matrix over another matrix where, where the, the numerator uh, matrix uh, that you take the determinant of, you just take the you just take the the x that we're trying to find. So in this case, it was x one, and we substitute uh, b in for for that entry. Okay, so we substitute that with b, and all the other ones just stay exactly the same. And then on the denominator, we always have the determinant of a.